Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slater. This week actually skips Wednesday and lets all of the drops happen from Thursday through Saturday. First up on Thursday is the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 35. Now, this is a brand new release from Nike running, and as you can see, the shoe takes some inspiration from the Vaporfly. When I originally started running last year, I was wearing the Pegasus, and I can tell you that it is a pretty good shoe. I haven't had a chance to try out the 35, but Nike always does a good job with this silhouette. You can look for those to drop over at finish line for $120 in a few different colorways. Now, if you happen to like gold, Nike has an Air Max metallic gold collection that is dropping with a few different styles. The Air Max 97 is probably the highlight of the bunch. You can grab those for $170, but there's also the Air Max Plus, which looks really dope. And Finish Line is also going to have the Air Vapor Max 97, which is dropping for $190, but that one is only going to be at select Finish Line stores. I wasn't sure about the hybrid at first, but I definitely really like it, and that gold makes it really pop. All right, moving on to Converse, they actually have two sneakers dropping as part of their Art of a Champion collection. My first is the favorite of the two, and that's the Fast Break High in the Celtic Green colorway. Big shout out to Kevin McHale and his No Easy Buckets philosophy. Those will cost you $95. If you want to go back even further, Nike has the Converse Star Player Low dropping in the Intangibles colorway. Nike celebrates NBA legend Wes Unsled and his 1978 win with the Seattle Supersonics. Those will cost you $75 for that little piece of history. All right, getting back to the Nike side of things, the Air Vapor Max Flying it too is dropping in a few colorways as well on Thursday. One of the colors is Team Red, which will be $190 over at finish line. Puma is doing some really cool things with sneakers lately, and I like the direction that they're headed in. If you are a fan of the classic, or in this case, actually the suede classic, they have a new Mac 1, Mac 2, and Mac 3 collab dropping for the ladies, and those will cost you $90. And just to be clear, Mac is a makeup line, not a burger or a movie from the 70s. Now, if you are an Adidas Boost fan, you are in luck as they have a brand new model dropping for both men and women on Thursday. The model is called the Solar Boost and will drop in separate colorways for men and for women. The model features a new style on the upper and it skips priming it for a completely different process called Taylor Fiber Placement Technology. Those will cost you $160 and you can grab them over at Finish Line as well. All right, jumping ahead to Friday, we have the Nike Air Force 270 sneaker dropping in two colors, and I have yet to actually get myself a pair of these. The Air Bubble looks mad comfortable on these, and those will cost you $160. For you Stephen Curry fans out there, the Under Armour Curry 5 will be dropping in the Welcome Home colorway. These will cost you $130 for the opportunity to ball in those low-cut sneakers. Speaking of $130 basketball sneakers, the Nike LeBron Soldier 12 will be dropping in a black and a university red colorway. This color combination is often called bread, and if you like Velcro on your basketball sneakers, you should definitely grab these. All right, rounding out the Friday drops are two colorways of the Air Vapor Max 2 Mock. There is a gold color and a red color. Both of them look really dope. These are a women's only release and you can grab those for 190. All right, speaking of the ladies, they actually have two Air Jordan releases dropping on Saturday. First is the Air Jordan 1 Rebel in the top three color, which looks really dope. Or if you want a more traditional look to your Air Jordan 1s, ladies, you can grab the OG Chicago colorway of the classic updated sneaker for $145. Both pairs will be available at finish line. All right, sticking with Jordan Brand, since we're on the topic, the Air Jordan 32 Low is going to be arriving on Saturday in what they're calling the Neo colorway. The subtle colors on this one are really what make it pop to me, and the, also it's the story of the shoe, which links back to Michael Jordan's childhood. If you look closely at the details, you'll see the Gordon Street on the verse of the tongue. Those will cost you $165. If you are an Adidas fan, or in this situation, an Alexander Wang fan, you are in luck this weekend, as a few of the collaborative sneakers between the two will be dropping on Saturday. The AW Run and the Reissue Run will be dropping, and honestly, I I like both of these pairs. Look for the AW Run to cost you 180, while the reissue will cost you 220. One of the most anticipated drops of the weekend, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Homage to Home dropping over at Finish Line. If you have not seen this model yet, it actually combines two very popular Jordan 1 colorways and mixes them right down the middle of the shoe. Some really love them and some aren't sure what to make of them. Either way, you can grab them over at Finish Line for $160 when they drop on Saturday. All right, so that's gonna do it for the show today. As always, guys, just wanted to make sure you were updated on all the things sneakers and all the things that I thought you guys would definitely care about. Make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I talked about in the video today. I am Josh Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.